Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering an email that I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, other people read the comments, and so when you leave a constructive comment, it does help other people. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the email. And here it is, the person's name is Mohammed, and the subject is learn and study discrete mathematics from under scratch, from Egypt, cool. Hi, it gives me great pleasure writing you this message. I am from Egypt. First of all, please excuse my poor English and faulty phrases because English is not my native language as Arabic language is my native. I am 48 years old and working as a financial accountant and business analyst and have more than 18 years of working experience in the fields of accounting, auditing, budgeting, and financial analysis. I'm doing a career shift from what I am doing to programming and I want to do programming for a living. And it seems that I am really have a great passion about programming and will keep doing it till the rest of my life, who knows. After starting to study and learn to have a good solid foundation in programming, I've read that many recommending having a solid foundation in mathematics will help me be good in programming, especially in the part both algorithms and data structure, because both of them depend on problem solving and problem solving depend on mathematics. After I googled topics, I mean what to learn and study mathematics exactly, I found many recommending to go towards discrete math, as they consider this branch of math as the godfather of computing. So I started to google what to learn in that branch, and honestly, I forgot almost all the math I've learned except some basic calculations. Because I trust your experience a lot from your channel, I thought I would ask you a plan to master discrete mathematics from start to finish. I watched all of your videos and I was not able to list all of the books on discrete math. I did watch your main video about learning math from start to finish and the other video, all the math classes that math majors take. So is it possible that you can recommend a list of books dedicated to discrete math and consider me level zero because I want to start from scratch? I'm paraphrasing a lot of this. I like to learn from books and I like to do problems and exercises. All you need is the list of books and the plan or a range of the books to start. So my plan consists of three parts. One, what is the right foundations for discrete math? Two, what is the right way to arrange and learn discrete math? Three, what is the advanced topics in discrete math that I need to study? What books should I learn for each of the steps? Thank you for your time, and I hope you have some time to reply. Thanks, Mohammed. Okay, Mohammed, I do have some advice when it comes to discrete math, and it's actually pretty simple advice. So what I'll do is I will leave a list of books in the description, uh, all the books I've looked at that I have on discrete math, and check them out. And I think the best thing you can do uh, for discrete math is get a couple books and start reading them. And you're gonna find, you're gonna find that most discrete math books follow an order, right? Because they're books, right? So the books already have that order for you, which is really nice. It's one of the nice things about books is they have chapters and sections and they're in order. So most discrete math books start with logic and sets. So you'll get you know, a very basic grounding on that. And then you're gonna find that sometimes the ordering in the books is a little bit different, but you can work through them and you'll get stuck. When you get stuck, you have multiple books to use. So that's one of the nice things about having multiple books. In my opinion, the easiest discrete math book that I've seen, so perhaps the best one for beginners, is the one by Epp. It's a pretty good book, it's pretty easy to read. There's other books that are also okay, uh, the one by Rosin, the one by Grimaldi, the one by Balakrishnan, and there's more. I have a bunch more here. So I'll leave some links in the description for you, and my advice is just do it, right? Pick up some books and start working through problems. I'm also assuming, I'm also assuming that you're going back to college. I'm not quite sure, you didn't really emphasize how you're doing a career shift. You say you've been in accounting for 18 years and you're doing a career shift to programming. So uh, if you do happen to go to college again and take a class in discrete math, that will also be very, very helpful in learning discrete math. So that's my advice. Uh, pick up a couple books and start going through them, start working through them. You're gonna find you get stuck a lot, okay, when it comes to discrete math. That's been my experience. Um, the most standard, popular, discrete math books, at least in the US, are the ones by Rosin and Grimaldi. Those are very, very widely used 
at colleges and universities here in the US and people always struggle with those books. So that's why I think it's good to have multiple, multiple copies. Discrete math is one of those classes that it's really hard for computer science majors um, to get through, but having a lot of resources I think will help you. If anyone has any other advice for Mohammed, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.